Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another CD to play for you. Today's CD is Superman Story 11 for 1940. So let's get started. Presenting the transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. And now, Superman, champion of the weak and the oppressed. Strange visitor from interplanetary space who has arrived on Earth to fight for the cause of justice and in his disguise as Clark Kent news reporter to investigate the ways and lives of men. When we last saw him, Kent was one of a small group made up of the ambulance surgeon, the fire chief, a photographer from the Daily Planet, and the half-hysterical unknown girl whom Kent, as Superman, had just rescued from the blazing inferno of the Sterling Tower. She was borne off to the ambulance. The girl broke into wild, delirious cries of stop them, catch them, catch them, and then lapsed again into unconsciousness. Today, as our story continues, Kent is waiting in a reception room of the hospital, hoping that the girl, whose identity is still unknown, will recover enough to tell who she is and throw light on the mysterious origin of the fire, which authorities are convinced was purposely set. But meanwhile, as Kent waits in the reception room, a powerful black sedan speeds through the night, far out of town on a highway for the west. Two men are tense in the front seat. One holds the wheel, while the other nervously turns the dials of the car's radio. Listen. Watch it, Bart. Clive's coming up. I'm not blind. I can see it. Hey! You have to do that. Listen, Joe. The more miles we put between us and the Sterling Tower, the better. And the quicker, the better, too. You think it's all over? Certainly it's all over. They'll never even find her. Let alone catch on about us. What are you doing with that radio? Picking up the late news. Oh, what's the matter? Worried about your investment? You might hear some. Well, I can tell you one thing. North Star Mining went down. <laughs> about 20 floors down. Yeah, don't be so funny. Yeah, and if that girl had ever got out with her story, it'd be lower than that. And us along with it. Think she pulled through all right? She's pulled through already. It was just shock and smoke. 
Well, why can't I see it? Well, she still a little upset. She woke up a while ago and said something about a car and some men. A car? Yes, I think that's what it was. I'd have called you, but she dropped off again. I thought she needed her rest more than you did your interview. Thanks, nurse. My pal. So she talked about a car, eh? Yes, and two men. Say, where are you going? Oh, just out on that sun porch. Get a little air. Now, listen, that sun porch is open. You'll catch your death of cold. Oh, no, no. I, I like the cold. Oh, all right. Suit yourself. You've probably got at least an hour, but whatever you do, don't leave that door. I won't. <sighs> She's right. It is cold. What's a little thing like cold to Superman? You I'd find out something if I hung around here long enough. Two men in a car, eh? Not much to go on, but I have an hour or so to look. Two men in a car. If they had anything to do with that fire, they're heading away from town. I wonder if they're the officers of that North Star Mining Company, Pemberton and Deneen. Well, if I catch up with them, I'll soon find out. Here we go. What? That's the red lights. You don't want to get us picked up now, do you? Shut up and keep your head. We're turning in at this parking lot. Where's the hospital? It's right around the corner. I'll ask the attendant to make sure. Here he comes. Evening, gentlemen. Okay, Mac. How much to park? Fifty cents for the first hour. Dime for every hour extra. We won't be over an hour. Oh, uh, where's the city hospital? Uh, straight down the avenue. First block to the right. Can't miss it. Don't worry, we won't miss it. And we won't miss her either. Come on, Joe. It's later than I thought. We'd better step on it. Well, the DA got there first. We'll worry about that when we have to. Remember now, I'm her uncle and you're her cousin if you haven't seen the day. All set? Yes, sir. You sure we're Come on, don't get chicken hearted. Make it good. Short and snap. Okay. No luck. Looked into 500 cars and hadn't found a thing. Either that girl was raping or they slipped by me in the dark. Uh, wait. There's a car coming up the road with two men in it. I'll drop down. No time to become Clark Kent. Here they come. I'll stand in the middle of the road. Oh, they're not going to stop. They're swerving. But I'll stop them. No. Ah. Hey, what? It's a police car. The last people in the world I want to meet right now. Hey, yo, what's the big idea? Commander Rickers? Hey, come back! Nice shooting, officer. One of those bullets bounced off my chest. Sorry, I can't wait to explain. Gotta get back to that hospital. Wasted enough time. That girl's probably ready to talk now. So long. Back to the city. Nurse, nurse, where are you? One of the Kent's men. 
They went to her relatives. They went into her room and stabbed her. Stabbed her? The doctor. Miss Gray, where's the where's Dr. Peters? Yes, how badly is she hurt? Is she dead? I don't know. She's unconscious. Miss Gray, come in here and help quickly. Both men up to Dr. Peters. Yes. Get back. Yes, right away, sir. Daily Planet, rewrite test. Listen, this is Clark Kent calling from City Hospital. Now get this, Max. Okay, Kent, shoot. It's about that girl they rescued from the Sterling Tower fire. She's in the City Hospital accident ward, and a couple of alleged relatives got by the nurse and into her room. Relatives, okay. Only they weren't relatives. Nobody knows who they are, but they got into the girl's room and stabbed her. So far, the extent of her injuries not known. Not known. Listen, is she dead or isn't she? Well, Max, I don't know. Well, find out, Kent. Find out and call back as soon as you can. I'll wait right here by the phone and hurry, will you? This sounds like a finish. As Janine and Pemberton, the two crooked owners of the North Star Mining Company, sealed their former secretary's lips forever, and why were they willing to risk arrest in order to get her out of the way? There are startling developments yet to come. Thrilling adventures in which Clark Kent and Superman play a major part. Don't miss the next sensational installment of Superman. Tune in with us next time and follow the exciting transcription, Superman. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Action Comics magazine. So that was Superman Story 11 from 1940. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We have another video coming out real soon.